Welcome back to the range again for another cutie review here at Wolverine Supplies. Today, we are shooting the Beretta 1951. So, it's gonna look fairly familiar, because most of you are gonna be remembering the Beretta 92. Well, this is where it started, right? So you've got a nine mil, unfortunately, single stack magazines. On the bottom end here, you have your release for the magazines, you have your lanyard loop, and a nice little uh, base pad there to keep your pinky on the grip. So with that, you've got a slide release on the side. You have a cross slot safety, which is terrible. It's 100% bad. So safety engaged, you have to press the button in, you'll be able to fire it. Single action only, so once you rack, you're ready to rock and roll. Sights, front sight integrated into the slide, rear sight is a dovetail that you can push out. Also awful. So old style, old technology gun, not that great. They worked for a lot of number of years and a lot of things have happened in the last 50 years to bring things up to you know speed with <laughs> technology. So older style pistol, it shoots well. well we're gonna see if uh, how it shoots. I'm sure it shoots fine, just like any Beretta. Let's give her a try. <laughs> so, what I'm doing with this is wearing gloves, smaller pistol, up high and tight. I'm able to actually completely stop that slide as it's moving. I can uh, probably do it right here. So that didn't even cycle all the way back. So let's try a try a teacup here. Oh yeah, this is this is natural. God, why do people think in movies that that's what you're supposed to do? It's the worst actors. All right, not bad. Release. Right on the side. Let's go grab another mag. All right. So we've had a couple of magazines through this. Uh, it was a little uh, disappointing because I only actually have one magazine for it. So we weren't uh, doing a lot of. Uh, you know, dynamic shooting, uh, reloads, anything like that. But uh, overall, recoil wasn't bad. The grip's not uh, not uh, horribly uncomfortable. It is uh, fairly, it's an okay trigger into it. It's not too bad. One thing I did notice though, as I was shooting, if you're using any types of gloves, I, even the pressure from my gloves touching the slide was enough to slow it down and either not allow it to cycle fully or go back into battery properly. So if you are shooting big burly gloves, it's Canada, it's you know, eight months out of the year, it's chilly. Uh, you just gotta make sure and watch what you're doing. Other than that, decent pistol. Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna see more reviews like this, make sure to check out all the other QD reviews we've done in the past. We'll see you next time.